Hey guys! Welcome back to Plots with a Twist, where we discuss books, amongst other things. Today we're going to be discussing American Spy by Lauren Wilkinson, so let's get into it. Get into it. <laughs> Why was I about to turn the camera off? <laughs> All right, so first to get into some of the summary of American Spy. We read this earlier this year, so we kind of mm -hmm. had to remind ourselves of some yes. of the plot points. But I think once I started like reminding myself, I started like recalling stuff that I was like, oh, I thought I could remember that it was a good book, right? Right. I thought I like completely forgot about everything in it. So I had to kind of write down some notes. But American Spy focuses on a character named Marie. See, I had forgot her name too. I had to look that up. <laughs> <laughs> Marie Mitchell. Mm -hmm. So it's described as a historical fiction because one of the characters in the story is a true fictional, I mean, not true fictional, true historical <laughs> character, mm -hmm. um, true historical person in history. And, um, but the events surrounding the actual story is fiction. It's so, fiction, right. So Marie Mitchell, it, the story opens in 1992. She's in home at home with her two young bo twin boys, sleeping, and someone, a, a, a intruder, comes in and basically attempts to kill her. She gets the upper hand on them and she kills them. And her, you know, she goes to check on her kids. They're good. They come and check on mommy. She's good. And pretty much, she has to call the police, take them to the neighbor's house, and she comes to the realization of what she has to do. Mm -hmm. So with this strong opening, you're like, oh, like what's going on? What is Why this about? Why are they trying to kill her? She's a mom of two kids. Like, what's going on? Like, who is she? Yeah. And that's where the rest of the story we find out who takes she is place. And how she got to this point in her life. Mm -hmm. Right. Basically, it's told in second person type of narrative where it's, the story is a transcript to her two two sons mm -hmm. so it, it's kind of like about that part too. yeah it's kind of like first person because she's describing her own events but because she throughout the story reminds you that she's writing this letter book or letter to her, to her kids, her kids. Yeah. um you could kind of put that in the, i guess that's described kind of like a second person which i didn't even know was a thing until me neither i looked it up but um so basically the whole book is a retelling of the events that led her to the assassination attempt on her life. Mm -hmm. So Marie is a FBI agent. She goes into her background of how she even got into the career with her sister being a primary motivation for her. So it's set during the Cold War era. So that's um, part of the historic background. Right. Part of the history, part of the political climate that's happening because of course, of course during the Cold War era, the big fear was communism. Mm -hmm. So, Marie goes and joins mm -hmm. the or partners with the CIA to mm -hmm. be an undercover informant for the for the I don't remember the group they called but Thomas San Sankara. Mm -hmm. Um so he was described as like Africa's Che. Yeah. Um Che Guevara. Right, but he was like a um, kind of like a new revolutionary coming up, kind of quickly got into power in Africa. Um, and I had to write down how to say it, Bert, uh, yeah. Burkina mm -hmm. Burkina Faso, Burkina Faso, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so he was young, charismatic, very charismatic figure. Wow, of course, it goes into some of the other dealings that she has with him, some of the other dealings that she has with other people that may mm -hmm. have drawn her to even take on this assignment. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get into some of our thoughts. So what were your thoughts on this story? So I enjoyed the story. Um, one of my only complaints about the story and how it's written, I felt like a lot of the um there was a lot of anticipation to kind of find out what was going on like there would be certain moments in the book where she would get to a certain point and i feel like it would just the story the story would get to a point and then it would just kind of like like go back down so mm -hmm. for me like the the i'm not even gonna say action but the the story kind of ebbed and flow where it was like it would pick up and then it would kind of like die back down and kind of lose my interest just a little bit but overall it was still a good enough story where i wanted to finish it so um but i enjoyed it i like the um i like the fact that the lead was a black female um 
set in the 80s because you don't see that. A, I, Are you well, looking at my notes? Yeah, but I'm not reading nothing. Um, <laughs> you don't see that. Or I haven't seen that a lot in a lot of the books that I've read anyway. So, And I love, y'all know I love a good detective, FBI, undercover, whatever story. So that was nice to see in this book. Yes. So I enjoyed the book as well. Mm -hmm. I did watch an interview with the author. Yeah, so she Bye. talked about just the intentionality of having you drawn in by this American or this spy story. Mm -hmm. um, but also talking about the emotions that someone like her would face. She was a black woman in a male, white male dominated field. She did have to deal with you know, her dad being a cop, her mother, even her mother, the relationship with her mother is mentioned as a strained relationship. Um, so it's like different aspects of the story aren't your, aren't typical of this type of story. Mm -hmm. And I like that because, especially knowing that that was intentional to make it fill these spaces that aren't being filled. Mm -hmm. So the fact that it's a black spy, the fact that it's a female spy, the fact that it's a black female spy, the fact that um, black females, especially during this time, um, face different conflicts, but she didn't outwardly go with the conflict of just being black in a white dominated field she, it was more so internal conflict versus like mm -hmm. this social economic conflict this mm -hmm. you know the, it wasn't these big grand things even though you can go out and build out and talk like about those things with her pressures, yeah like with her family even like her, her dad being a cop exactly. in harlem like you know that could that could easily go into other territory mm -hmm. but it wasn't really that that deep right or it was deep on a different level. Uh, some people were saying that it was kind of a little too reflective. It was too like, this is why I did this and this. It's, it's discussing her feelings a little too much. But, but I, I understand don't mind. why she did that because it's to her. At the end of the right. day, she's writing to her the kids in the book. Right. And I think if you constantly like remind yourself of that, mm -hmm. it that didn't bother me though. I didn't, that didn't have to think about either. it. Yeah. But, I mean, some people, I think because it's marketed as a spy novel. They didn't want to have that. They, right. That you don't want to have that conversation. You want to see the action. You want to yeah. see the, the movie. And it's she's not making. like an action packed like book. And I think maybe that did bother me just a little bit because that's why I said it kind of like certain moments that were kind of dull to me. She was talking about her feelings. Yeah, she was talking about her feelings. But I, know, I understand why she was doing that. But some of the, some of the details you can argue whether it was necessary or not to include. But I think even with some of these details being included, it still made sense. Mm -hmm. So that's the only thing. That's my only gripe about it. But overall, I did enjoy the overall story and yeah. how it was told. Me too. Okay. So how would you rate the story? Overall, I think I gave it like a three or four on Goodreads. I can't remember. I be giving everything a four. I gotta stop doing that. I gotta really critically think. Um, I mean, on a five star scale, yeah. you can't really. But I think I either gave it a three or a four, and um, I think I, I enjoyed um, this. Like I said, there were a couple of points in the story that for me were dull moments, and that kind of. It was hard for me to get through the book towards the end, but I wanted to finish because at that point I was committed. Um, so I think that's why I rated it the way that I did, and I didn't give it five also stars. Traveling. I was traveling time, but still, like even when I came back and I was reading it, it was oh. I was trying to fi <laughs> I was trying to finish, and um, it was just taking me a while to like just get my mind back into it. But overall, I felt like it was a great story. It was um, I feel like it's needed in literature right now, like just um, to have that different representation there and stories that you know don't normally, I guess, cast those type of people. Um, yeah, overall, loved it. Um, it was number five in my wrap-up or whatever, so I liked it. I enjoyed it a lot. But I think me having it on my list had more so to do with the character and the... the um, And the space is taken up. Exactly. Because it's like... I don't um, want to say it's unorthodox, but it's not something that... You see often. Right. You don't. Um, I would give it like a three, three and a half. been drinking. I've been drinking more than you, first of all. I've been spotted drinking all around well, YouTube. Look at you. Not all around YouTube. That means you have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, I take baby sips. <laughs> Pace. Um, I would give it like a three and a half. Um, and for the same reason, I think it's occupying a space that 
isn't really seen and I feel like you know you can see the amount of work that she did put into it the amount of research that she put into it mm -hmm. um I think it's kind of and it is it's like she's asking for controversy you know yeah basically saying that this um historical figure had this affair that you know yeah he didn't have except for in her mind unless she consulted with someone and confirmed something but yeah. um but yeah she um i think she took a, a huge risk with the story mm -hmm. and i think that paid off so i would say that would make it like lean towards a four for me yeah but not quite there because i will say that um like you said like the ebb and flow of it mm -hmm. um it was it i feel like it was necessary but sometimes it's kind of like to say something was really assigning you, yeah. Um, you you can't you you have to also be able to recognize that when it's not. So I'm just recognizing that there were moments that could I could have de dealt without. But overall, I thought it was a great story. I thought it was a necessary story. I thought um, I would definitely rev you know um, look out for her future writings. Um, from what I saw from the interview, she takes her time with her mm -hmm. book, so we'll, you know, tell them when her next when her book next will book, yeah. come out. But, um, but yeah, I thought, I thought it was, you know, a strong contender. I thought it was a great read. I would definitely recommend it. Mm -hmm. Um, would you recommend Same. it? Yeah, yeah I would. I would <laughs> so I would definitely recommend it. It's just, you know, it wasn't the best thing I've read this year, but it, far from the worst. Yeah, it was definitely up there. Yeah. So, so I think this is going to be like... We're trying to be festive. You know, this is going to be our last review for the year. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so. Um, but next year, we'll have a bunch of reviews. We have so much content plans and so many different ideas for you guys. So it's going to be an exciting year, to say the least. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, just show your excitement with your likes, your comments, your... <laughs> yes. your and let us know if you re read the book um, and what you thought, if you thought it was all of that or if you really weren't feeling it. So And we wanted to doing. talk about it because I haven't seen many videos on it. And um, and it's, it's, it's worth a mention. It's what it is. It really is. So... All right. Well, until next time, guys. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you. See you next back time. Again. Bye. Bye.